بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome back my dear students in grade 9 prep 3 and our sons abroad Today inshallah we will continue studying the story A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens Today we will have inshallah chapter 7 The title of the chapter is Sydney's Confession اعتراف Sydney طبعا هيكون الاعتراف لي uh, uh, Lucy Minette about his love. Let's read the summary, then we will talk about and discuss the questions and answers. Charles Darnley gave up his properties in France and worked as a teacher and translator of, Fr of French. His love for Lucy Minette grew and he decided to ask Dr. Minette for Lucy's hand in marriage. قرر ان يطلب ايدها للزواج. Donnie wanted to tell Dr. Manette about his real identity, but Dr. Manette stopped him saying it would be better to hear this if Lucy agreed to marry him. طلب منه ان يؤجل الاعتراف عن هويته الحقيقيه ان هو he is related to Evermont uh, الى يوم الزواج. Dr. Manet promised Donnie that if Lucy ever agreed to marry him, he wouldn't refuse. When Donnie left and Lucy came home, she didn't find her father in his reading room as usual. She heard a low hammering in her father's bedroom. سمعت صوت الشكوش في ال when she entered the room, she found her him working on a pair of shoes. Lucy gently helped her father to his feet. Charles <laughs> وبدأ ينهار ويعود إلى صناعة الأحذية. She walked with him for many hours and finally left him sleeping peacefully. Another man also fallen, fell in love with Lucy Manette, but unlike Charles Darnie, Sidney Carton did not feel himself worthy of her. Charles هو غير قدير بها. He had not made a success of his life and he drank too much yet something in him drove him to tell Lucy of his love Lucy tried to make him change his way of life but he thought it was too late for for a change he believed that he would sink even lower he loved Lucy with no hope can you help Lucy بدون أمل? He knew that she would never love him. However, he promised her that he would give his life to save hers or the life of someone dear to her. قالها إن هو على السعداد أن يضحي بحياته عشانها أو حتى لو شخص تحبه هو ممكن يضحي بحياته علشان ينقذ هذا الشخص طالما إن هي تحب هذا الشخص. Questions and answers. What was Charles Darnley's new job in London? What did this show about his character? He worked as a French teacher. He gave up his property in France because he didn't like the way his family treated the peasants. This shows that he was a noble man in heart, not just by title. Can شخص نبيل بطبيعته وليس باللقب. No, sir, I thought, this is a, a quotation, no, sir, I thought it were it proper to speak to you first in case there would uh, there were other suitors comment. Charles Donnie. 
Le Dr. Manet. Charles Donnelly said this to Dr. Manet when he came to ask him for Lucy's hand in marriage. He preferred to talk to Dr. Manet to know if there were any other persons who had proposed for Lucy. I don't wish, this is also a quotation, I, I don't wish there to be any secrets between us. I wish to tell you my real name and why I'm living in, in England. Comment. طبعا هذا الكلام بيقوله تشارلز داني انا اريد ان اكشف لك عن حقيقتي و... ولا يكون بيننا اسرار و... و... ولماذا انا بعيش في انجلترا ورغم ان انا رجل فرنسي. تشارلز داني said this to دكتور مينيت when he asked for Lucy's hand in marriage. He wished to tell دكتور مينيت about his real identity because he didn't want to keep any secrets from him. What did Dr. Manet promise Donny? Dr. Manet promised that he wouldn't refuse his proposal of marriage if Donny was necessary for Lucy's happiness. I wish to tell you my real name and why I'm living in England. Who said this to whom? Charles Donnie said this to Dr. Manette. What did the speaker want to say? He wanted to tell him about his real identity. Why was the speaker in England? Charles Donnie. Because he didn't want to be an oppressor in France. I shall never be any better than I am now, and I fear that I shall sink even lower. Comment. Sidney Carton said this to Lucy when she advised him to try to live a better life. He said it was too late for trails. He believed that يعني خلاص الوقت تأخر إنه هو يحاول منه يصلح نفسه. He believed that he would sink lower and lower and would be worse. سيذهب من أسوأ إلى أسوأ في حياته. Please always remember and believe. This is a very important quotation and I want you, my dear students, to take care of this quotation. Please always remember and believe that the true Sidney Carton is the man here with you now, the man who would lay down his life for you. Come in. رجل على السعداد أن يضحي بحياته من أجلك. طبعا ده هذا الكلام after he confessed his love to her. بعد أن اعترف بحبه لها. Carton said this to Lucy. He promised her to sacrifice his own life أن يضحي بحياته for her or for any other life dear to her أو أي شخص عزيز عليها. Don't tell me now. If you and Lucy marry, you can tell me on your wedding day. Come in. ستخبرني يوم الزفاف. Dr. Manet said this to Donny when the letter tried to tell him his secret. Dr. Manet refused. He would like to know the secret if Lucy agreed to marry him. قال له قل على كل أسرارك بس ناس تشوف موافقة الفتاة الأول. What was the effect of Darnie's proposal on Dr. Manet? ما هو تأثير عرض الزواج اللي عمله uh, Charles Darnie على uh, Dr. Manet? Lucy was everything to Dr. Manet. When Darnie asked Dr. Manet to marry Lucy, the latter felt that he would lose, he would lose. Lucy, he would lose. نكتب هنا, he would lose. Lucy forever. He relapsed in her and returned it to his Showmaking tools and bench. 
Why did Carton feel that he was unworthy of Lucy's love? لماذا Carton كان يشعر أنه غير جدير بحب Lucy? Sidney Carton did not feel himself worthy of Lucy because he had not made a success of his life and he drank too much. He saw no hope for change or becoming better in his life. However, he thought he would sink lower in his miserable life. That's the end of our questions today, my dear students. I wish you have enjoyed it. Now we will see the scene between Dr. Manit and Charles Donnie uh, when he uh, proposed or when he asked uh, him to uh, marry Lucy. I do not doubt your loving Lucy. You may be satisfied of it. Have you spoken to her? No. Why? In deference to her father? I have seen you, Doctor. I have watched the two of you together. I have seen an affection so unique, so touching that I... That is why I hesitate. She is devoted to you with all of her heart. You were lost to her, and your return has brought her nothing but happiness. How can I then bring my love between you? And yet, yes, I beg you to believe that I would never put a separation between you. I look only to loving your daughter and serving both of you. You speak so feelingly that I thank you with all my heart. Do you have reason to believe that Lucy loves you? I think it possible, but without your permission, I could have no hope at all. She is everything to me, far more than life itself. And knowing you, sir, I'm delighted to say that you have my consent. I thank you. But in truth, you don't know me. Not really. You see, my present name is not as my own. I came here to England because no. I wish only to better deserve your confidence. No. Later. Sir? You may tell me when I ask it of you. If Lucy should give her consent, then you may tell me on your wedding day. Yes. Allo, is a wafit Lucy had only fi yom azawai. That's the end of our session session today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me. Don't forget forget to put like to the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you till we meet in chapter eight.